Assalamu alaikum, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. All right, uh, so in today's lecture, we are moving to talk about another type of words. The type of word we are going to talk today, they are called what? Finite words. What type of words? Finite words. Their what are finite words. So in today's lecture, we will try to cover up two words, two types of words. One is finite and another is called non-finite, clear? Uh, I want to explain it in an easy, an easy way. So let's move towards the whiteboard first. Let's talk about finite verbs, finite verbs. What are finite verbs? It's very easy to understand finite verbs. You need to keep in your mind two things. How many things? Two. Number one, you should have in your mind about subject. And number two thing, that is tense. How many things? Two. One is called subject. And the second one, that is tense. When a word changes, it brings changes in itself according to its subject and tense. We call it finite word. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain it, okay? Don't look at me like you know with it. Let's let's explain it. For example, if I say they they T H E Y they play cricket. They play cricket. And then if I say he he plays cricket. Now can you see that which one is verb in this in this case? Play. Play. And then the second one we have plays. Can you see that I change subject? They is called what? They is subject. He is called subject. I change subject and word got changed. Word gets changed according to what? According to the subject. Word got changed like, you know, and the first one it's plural subject. So I put plural form of word. And the second one, it's singular subject. I put singular form of word. Number one difference. This is the difference number one. Let's, let me move to the second difference. If I say he played, he played cricket. Now look at here. What I changed here, I changed the tense in the first two sentences, I changed the subject. I changed what? Subject. In the first two sentences, I changed what? I changed subject and word got changed. In the third sentence, I changed what? Tense, word got changed. So I can say a word, it can be changed according to the subject and tense that is called what? We call it? What type of word? Finite word. That is called what? We call it finite word. So finite words are those words actually in a sentence. Words are finite words. In a sentence, in a sentence. When, when in a sentence, if a word it functions as a word in a sentence, that is called finite word. Because Word has got different functions. Word, it does not only function as a word always. Word can function as a noun, word can function as an adjective, word can function as an adverb. Like if you have a word and a sentence, three, four words, how can you identify it? How can you say this is called word? If, if it functions as a word and a sentence, that is finite word. But if it does not function in, in a word as a word, it functions as a noun, if it, it if a function is an adjective or an adverb, we don't call that word, we will call it, you know, a noun or an adjective or an adverb then. 
So from today, like your mature advanced students of English, keep in your mind that word does not always function as a word only. It can function other things as well. It can function as a noun, it can function as an adverb, and it can function as an uh, adjective as well. Now, look, let me explain you to non-finite and then you, you will be like, you know, much more clear. The first one. Second one we have, non-finite words. Look at here. Non-finite, again, two things you need to keep in your mind. Number one thing that is called subject. Number two thing that is called tense. Over here, I told you that if if tense and subject is inflected, clear? If a verb is inflected towards the subject and Tense. We call it what? Finite word. You will call it finite word. Clear? Over here, in non finite verbs, we will say the opposite of it. We will say what? The opposite. I can say if a verb is not. If a word isn't inflected towards the subject and a tense, we call it what? We call it non-finite. I will call it non-finite verb then. What I will call it? Then that is called non-finite. Clear? Then that we will call non-finite verb. What type of word? non-finite word. As I said in the first one, if a word changes itself according to the subject and tense, that is called finite word. If a word it does not change according to the subject and verb, we call it non-finite word. Let me write down here for you examples. Look, if I say, I enjoy, I enjoy walking in the rain, for example. Or if I say, he enjoys walking in the rain. Or if I say, we enjoyed walking in the rain. Look these examples. We have got Enjoy. We have got walk. How many words do we have in this sentence? How many words are here? Two words. Which one is word? Enjoy and walking. Two words are here. But look at here. According to the subject, clear, and according to the tense. Enjoy, it got what? Enjoy, enjoys, enjoyed. It got changed. It got changed. So I can say that enjoy over here, it's what, what type of word? It's finite. It's what? It's finite word. But can you see here, walk? Can you see walk? Has it changed in any of the tense? No. I change the subject, walking is the same. I change the tense, walking is the same. We brought, we see no changes over here. In fact, it is also a word. The home word of the kana, for the case changes are another. The word tamanga sebeu, the tamanga non finite view. So what will? Non finite. They work some of the non finite words. You yatsate, remember that for jumleke, word 
چکم دے کدی کی جملہ کی زتا نہ کوئی پائے اس کی وچ ون از ورب تو کدی جملہ کی صرف انٹوائی ورب دے واکنگ ورب کو دے بٹ اٹس فنکشن از ناٹ ورب اینی مور ہیر دادر تے کہ ورب نہ دے اس من سرا کدی فنکشن من سرا ورب نہ دے ٹھیک شو اٹ از ناٹ فنکشن از ا ورب نو دغه به یاد ساتي چې فاینایټ ورب هغه ورب وی چې د سبجکټ اور د ټنس مطابق چینج کیږي او نن فاینایټ نه چینج کیږي لایک فور ایگزامپل لیټ می گیو مور ایگزامپل سیر اف آی سی آی لایک ٹو ٹیچ انگلش ہی لائکس ٹو ٹیچ انگلش they liked to teach english but did you like you go right can you see like to share it's finite word what if finite day because it got changed according to the subject and verb huh teach hum mun sara verb de kara kho dal ta kitab mun sara kam ye verb de to teach non finite it does not get changed da mun sara ne change ki gi da khabara poish hai there are the non finite mun sara three types the so types the three types the mun sara agar kam kam you the you need to keep in your mind Number one, the manga view, gerund, clear. Second one, mung sara debia, infinitive. And the third one, bia mung sara de aga seche de, participles. The three types of mung sara, the non-finite words. نن فاینائٹ ورب مونگ سدا ورب کار نہ بیخا نن فاینائٹ چ کم ورب دی دا با یا مونگ سرا چ کم دے پ جملہ کی یا با مونگ سرا کار کئی دے سشی والا ات ایدر فنکشنز یا با مونگ سرا دا پ جملہ کی چ کم دے یا با مونگ سرا کار کئی دے ناؤن یا با مونگ سرا کار کئی دے ایڈجیکٹیو اور یا با مونگ سرا کار کئی دے سشی ایڈورب دا چ کم نن فاینائٹ وربز دی دی خو ورب پخ پلا باندی کار دا ورب دیا نہ کئی مونگتا دا کلان دیو گو رے پا دی جملہ کے I enjoy walking نو walking دلتا جرن کار کئی دا ناؤن کار دے subject دا direct object دے دا تا کئی to teach I like to teach I like what I like to teach تا سنما یو خبر اکڑو کو شروع کئی چی subject او object ام ہیز دا کو نو 90% grammar ام ہیز دا کو یا چی تا کنا دا نہیر بھی باول اور رزمیتا دا خبر اکڑو if you learn that دلتا کی دا مون سرا اوبجیکٹ ہے تاستما بلا خبر کڑے سبجیکٹ او اوبجیکٹ با ہمیشہ سبجیکٹ با ناؤن ہی یا پرونو نی او یہ ہر شے چ دا ناؤن کا ذکر کے اگر مون سرا اوبجیکٹ ایک سبجیکٹ کے دیش یا یا تی تکنا ہاں تا خبر مون کڑے والا کی نو دلتا کی گوری ٹو ٹیچ آئی لائک واٹ آئی لائک ٹو ٹیچ انفینیٹو دا دا ناؤن کا ذکر آئی لائک آئی انجوائے واکنگ آئی انجوائے واٹ آئی انجوائے واکنگ جرن دے دا ناؤن کا ذکر کے نو مون گو اوسو for detail ki view that you come three matters to you like come come you the mung sara would we have there is gerund infinitive participles so that the non the, the mung sara types the the come you work non finite types the excellent is this clear koi shwe kana All right. So, uh, this, that's what we had finite clear. That's good. We will study about the new topic clear, important topic that is called what? Jaran. Gerund the commute type noun, the non-finite type. Okay. Picture number one. We will we will study here about gerund number one. What is gerund? Gerund is the present participle form of a word. 
what i mean by present participle present participle sata hui present participle matlab da re were plus plus ing ye ta mang sayo pa english ke aage again i will not say were plus ing but i will say present participle ye ta sayo were plus ing ta mang sayo present participle when present participle form of a verb is used clear in a sentence if it functions as a noun ke charta ke verb ing mung sarvi aw aga mung sarvi jumla ki istemal shi aga sa shi function mung sarvi ki the noun pa za istemal shi charta in case if it is used in place of noun agi ta be mung sarvi gerund we we call that what we call it gerund the gerund mung sarvi karal ta ke sade it will function as a noun like here i have written here gerund is also called verbal noun what we call it verbal noun wale ta verbal noun we zaka chida da verb na jor shwe da da noun also for definition of a noun ki da value that noun also shows an action ya chi ta kan mangala pa noun for definition ki value that noun also shows an action no an action noun kam yo de there is gerund aga time ki kata sunu ko shi no us ko pe sahi poye ge thik cho so gerund is the present participle form of a verb kam yo form of verb de present participle form present participle kam yo form ta mangabi verb plus ing excellent and functions as a noun da sakar ke noun kar ke mung sara tik sho ending ek bhi ing ending de bhi so we call it what we call it gerund like for example swimming we say swimming running drinking clear all of them they are called what gerund de tamang bhi let me give you here examples no bata so ignore me da ga sir detail sara koi shay and this topic is very important for that of your eyes for example if i say look uh if i make here example for you reading reading improves your writing skill what i have written here reading improves your writing skill but the subject come here reading there na aur reading that the share gerund de gora badi ki da hum reading hum mung sara verb de improves hum verb de aur badi jumla ki mung sara verb kam yo de which one is verb improves mung sara verb de aur da kam yo verb de finite verb reading kam yo verb de non finite verb aur da non finite verb kam yo type de gerund type de excellent reading improves mata so is subject badi ki kar ke subject hamesha noun ya pronoun ya kam she che the subject pa ze kar ke are tamam ko se we call it a uh, subject no but easy ke reading improves kala chita so paragraph di kai and essay no koshish ka we cha ga ta so shi na shuru kai if try to start with jaran ta so chikale nikal ka we kana no koshish ba ka we che paragraph chita so nikal shuru kai no koshish ke che jaran na shuru kai aga like reading improves your writing skill no but easy ke ma saru gora delta the noun pa ze kar kai da reading the pa ze kar kai excellent noun pa ze kar kai like we have smoking is injurious to health dekhi mun sara work kam ho de ha which one is work verb mun sara kam ho de is is the only word we have that is is it function is a main verb here the auxiliary verb the main verb kar ki clear it function is a ya us wa khuda ya pak raba zata sun ta dali kama smoking is dangerous to health dal ta munga for da ko zaka chi injurious to razi dangerous for barashi preposition for ha dal ta ke mun sar work kame de is dangerous se de एडजेक्टिव दे नो आगे की तरफ जुबान से बाला लगे था या तो जुबान से चल लाइक जता तवे मां आई एम हैप्पी फॉर यू आई एम हैप्पी फॉर यू आई एम हैप्पी हैप्पी से चले तो जुबान चिका मैं वर्ड ऊपर इतना जो चिका चलता वर्ब दे इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट क्लियर सो स्मोकिंग इज डेंजरस फॉर हेल्थ पर देखिए कमे मुंग सर स्मोकिंग से चले इट्स 
Gerant. Excellent. It's Gerant. Non finite verb type there. Gerant there. Clear? It's a shesho. It's a verb. Khabar pushi. Or the Gerant car sushi. It functions as a. Is a noun. Excellent. It functions as a noun. That is noun car there. Mungsara. Is this clear? Push you tool. Ha. Usra zay. Makizu. Now, gerund form of verb is used as follow. What I have written here, gerund munga kum kum zainu ki pur jumla ki istemala wale shu. What are the places where we can use gerund? What are the positions where we can use what? We can use gerund. Number one, clear. We have gerund is used as a subject of a sentence. We are subject na stazu khlasa inishta. It will be used as what? As a subject. If a noun is used, we have the cases value, the noun cases. Us ta sabar de rasane bi. Bi amung sir sa shayde second number. Direct object of a sentence is a subject complement mung sa istemali deshi. Is an object of preposition istemali deshi. After phrasal verb istemali deshi. Compound nouns kida istemali deshi. And after certain expressions, we can use them. The six, seven places that you mungo kumzi ki jaran bista mala wale shu bujumla ki. Kale tasu sentence li kai tasu da muktalif zayinu ki sashi bista mala wale shi. You people can use jaran. These are the different places. Let's talk about the first one. And the first one is what subject? Sub jaran can be the subject of a word. Jaran mung sara. Subject of a verb is tamale deshi. So, chalta is tamale deshi. Subject of a verb. It can be used as a subject of a verb. Number one. Ha. Digi gore. Visiting New York is always an experience. Visiting New York. Come zita. New York the visit. No, but this is the common word. Mong sir, come here. Put the jumla ki. Is. The only word we have in this sentence that is is. Visiting is the gerund. Visiting is the subject of the word is. I think it's subject. We're talking about visiting. Sishi barak ki khabar ki yagay ta subject koi. Padi jumla ki sabar ki khabar ki. That is about visiting. No visiting mungsa sishi show. It's a subject. It's among the subject. Asan dekha na. It's very easy. Clear? Padi ki gurui. Cooking is my favorite hobby. What is my favorite hobby? Cooking. Khabar apadi jumla kisa baare ki kigi? Cooking baare ki. No cooking jaran de dalta ki. Aur subject pa jay istemal shabay de kara. Subject chhu jumla sa baare ki welki ki agar ta subject hui. Now we talk about what? We talk about cooking. We talked about visiting. No padi jumla ki da tool pa shuru ki raizi is a subject kar ki jaran. Padi ki work is de mung sara. Chik da? Like for example, eating people is wrong. Eating people is wrong. What is wrong? Eating. Eating people. No eating to shuru kira hai musara. Is word there? For example, hunting tiger. Hunting tiger is dangerous. Flying. Then to go to flying se shesho. Jaran. Word kam yode? Yeah. Max. Max kam ne musada se shesho? It's a finite word. Aur jaran kam yode word there? Non finite word there. Ha. Brushing your teeth is important. But they can come over there. Is excellent. Smoking causes lung cancer. What come over there? Causes excellent. Smoking causes what? It causes lung cancer. What causes lung cancer? Smoking causes lung cancer. No, that cool tasugu re da po shuru kira gali di. No, that is a subject of a sentence. Is the mali deshi. The jumle po shuru kira deshi is a subject. Is the mali deshi jaran. Awale ne kesi mong sardai osho. Sei sho. Second number. Asan oda. Number two. Second number mung sara sade. Object of a verb is the mali deshi. Gerund can be the subject of a subject of a verb. Gerund can be an object of a verb. That is the the verb object hum ke deshi mung sara. Like for example, I love visiting New York. I love. What is love here? Finite verb. Tichu verb dema sara. Visiting se sheshu. It's a gerund. 
आई लव विजिटिंग आई लव वट विजिटिंग विजिटिंग डायमंड सरस्वती जय कार गई ऑब्जेक्ट पर जय कार गई ऑब्जेक्ट पर जय कार गई डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट दे दल तक है द वर्ब ना बाद चता समावेली कलर चे राशि ऑब्जेक्ट द वर्ब ना डाल मेन वर्ब ना बाद चे कलर राशि नाउ अगर डायरेक्ट मुंग सरदार डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट दे द केसेस ऑफ नाउंस की मंगा वेरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट इफ यू रिमेंबर तो चाहता ही इन वाला केसेस ऑफ नाउ वीडियो गो रहेगा फॉर यूट्यूब बारे हां नो विजिट इज विजिटिंग इज डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट क्लियर of the verb love the love verb mung sara dasa the direct object de i enjoy walking in the rain enjoy verb de walking se shesho jaran sho aw da dal ta position e kamyo de object de direct object of the verb de dal ta ke mung sara no matlab da sho dwa cases mung vera jaran can be used as a subject of a sentence and jaran can be used as an object of a sentence next third one gerund can be an object complement it can be used as an object complement pas to mavelu che object ali che tale the main verb na baad istemal shi main verb che kamara shi kan main verb pata spe jane ordinary verb main verb ordinary verb yo auxiliary verb de che the auxiliary verb na baad istemal shi is na na ga biya musara object na de अगर कंप्लीमेंट है मुंगा लेडी दैट्स रेडी कर हम दे आगे तब मुंगा वैसे व्यू वी कॉल इट कंप्लीमेंट वी विल नॉट कॉल इट व्हाट वी डू नॉट कॉल इट यू नो दैट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट वी विल कॉल इट कंप्लीमेंट आगे तब ये कंप्लीमेंट हुई उधर तक गोरे माय हाइलाइट वाज विजिटिंग न्यूयॉर्क दैट द वाज रहा है वाज ना बात विजिटिंग रहा है no damung sara present continuous tense na de this is not present continuous tense we do not call it present continuous tense clear de tamanga present continuous tense na view we don't call it present continuous tense de the present continuous tense na will ki damung sara se de jaran de ta 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 gore landi my favorite hobby is gardening my favorite hobby is gardening us gore da which i am playing with the jumle ta gore ka zadal ta wi ama che i am playing no i am playing the present continuous tense there it's a present continuous tense the go action khita ta kana i am playing ko dal ta gore da gore da i bara ke noi the subject bara ke noi dal ta ke i i am playing sahi shu ko dal ta ki gore my favorite hobby is is what my favorite hobby is gardening it completes the meaning of the subject the subject ta masa dal ta kana the subject de anything that completes the meaning of subject that is called subject complement zaka charta ke da gardening akwa kama no ta sada meaning pura ki gi charta no it does not complete the meaning no the collected linking verb na baad istemal shi like among you i am happy ya ta sanga ve kana che i am i am what i am happy Happy completes the meaning of what? I. Subject meaning mungta complete kai. No happy dal ta sa shere. Happy is called an adjective. The subject complement de. Taso damanga cases of adjectives ke ungwe li di ke taso yachi. Cases of noun ke ungwe veri cases of sa. Agi ke mungta taso aga yadi no us bata easily poyege. Tan tani yad no beya mazhe kawi. Ya. Us dal exactly predicative case ke mungta value. Dal ta ke us gore. My favorite hobby is. my my favorite hobby is subject and gardening is the complement one of the duties one of the duties is attending meetings attending meetings attending that such a jaran the word mung sarf sarf is that that theek sho one of life's pleasures is is subject having breakfast in bed that like having having mung sarf such a jaran de so that is a complement of subject istemal shavere like because we ma one of the pleasure clear one of the life's pleasure is is what one of the life's pleasure is no is the homong ta matlab the subject meaning na pura ki gal tak hai no dela ba khama khama ta word pakari one of the life's pleasure is meeting my friends for example one of the life's one of the life's pleasure is meeting an old friend ma si wela meeting an old friend 
Now, meeting an old friend is the life's pleasure. Your life pleasure is the subject there. The subject matlab pura kaul mein tasse chahiye istemal ko. Jaran meeting. One of the life's pleasure is is what is meeting whom my an old friend. Now that the jaran mung sadai istemal ko. Tikda? Ha. Next mangar azu the fourth one. Dao munga istemal kare re. Object of preposition istemal ire. Chikala jaran the of preposition napad istemal ko. ताता सुयाद शिता सब केसेस ऑफ नाउन तुम गदा वेले दे कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ प्रीपोजिशन वाला जकला नाउन दिस न बाद इस्तेमाल छि प्रीपोजिशन न बाद कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ प्रीपोजिशन मंगा लेते वेले सही द नो सेम वे ओवर हियर जरन कैन बी यूज्ड आफ्टर प्रीपोजिशन लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल दीस आर द एग्जांपल्स इफ यू वांट टू हैव इट कैन यू स्नीज विदाउट ओपनिंग योर माउथ स्नीज विदाउट विदाउट सच अ प्रीपोजिशन कैन यू स्नीज Without opening your mouth, opening such a show, Charant. But if you work, come here. Excellent. Sneeze word, dear Mungsara. Sneeze is word. Open, dear Mungsara. Charant, dear Dalta. Like here, she is good at at such a day. It's a preposition. Good at painting. He is good at teaching. He is good at learning. He is good at studying. Huh? She avoided him by walking. Walking, Jaran show by by preposition show walking, Jaran. After driving, we arrived clear in Madrid after driving all night. After preposition driving, Jaran. My father decided against postponing clear his trip to Hungary. So we have got what postponing, postponing is Jaran, and after against is preposition. There is no point in waiting. In preposition, waiting, gerund. In spite of missing, in spite of the complete mung sese sese show. Preposition, compound preposition. The later on mung da baby. Missing sese show is called gerund. No, chikala the gerund na baat the preposition na baat gerund use tamal chia gaya tamung sese baby. Direct object of preposition. Sahi lagulu no? Ha. Gerund can be used after phrasal verbs. The phrasal verb na baadum istemali ki. Phrasal verb seta wida ba later on munga ba type of dalak ki bhiu. Chakala mung sara sese rashi verb plus preposition rashi. Preposition munga phrasal verb deta bhiu. Asana zata usol ta kyo schema mung sara sese re. Chakala phrasal verb deta bhiu. Chakala verb verb rashi or preposition rashi. For example, if I say come and de dwaro ta mung sese bhiu. Come sese re. वर्ब दे प्लस एन से शेरे प्रीपोजिशन दे नो दे द्वारो तमंग से बियो एक्सेलेंट दे कम इन ता द्वारो तमंग फ्रेजल वर्ब बियो वी कॉल इट व्हाट वी कॉल इट फ्रेजल वर्ब क्लियर नो चितला फ्रेजल वर्ब मुंग मुंग सरा मुंग सरा चिकम दे वी कैन आल्सो यूज जरंट आफ्टर फ्रेजल वर्ब द फ्रेजल वर्ब ना बाद हम इस्तेमाल दे शी लाइक हियर व्हेन विल यू गिव अप स्मोकिंग गिव अप से शेरे इट्स अ फ्रेजल वर्ब A phrasal verb de masara. Tick show. Smoking se she show. It's a gerund. Excellent. Be adal ta ke. She always puts off. Puts off. Puts. Put word of preposition. Going. Going is gerund. Excellent. He kept on asking. Kept on. Kept on. Phrasal verb. Asking is gerund. He ended up. Ended up. Phrasal verb buying. Buying is gerund. Is this clear? Phrasal verb among the sabai inshallah study ko sabai abar oras. Ha. Phrasal words ke among the daiyo bol khabaram ko yad saath hi dalta ki daiyo point there important point that you show da yad saath hi zan sara. It's very important point for all of you. That there are some phrasal words. They include the word to is a preposition. For example, to look forward to, or to take to, clear, to be accustomed to, to get around to. That this are full range of phrasal verbs, sir. To be used to. No, this are yad saath hai. Chakala hum ta subya istemal hoye dena baad ba ing form of verb lagi. Da gore dalta ke la kamanga view karna. I look forward to hearing from you. 
دا به کلم لکه تو هیر نه رایزی په انفینیټیو باندې دا دا تو چې ده دا انفینیټیو تو نه ده دا تو چې ده دا من سره ده پرپوزیشن تو دی خپل باندې اغل تکی هغه د فریزل ورډ بو اله تو دی نو اکثر چې خلک لري کی آی آی لوک فارورډ ریسیوینګ آی آی لوک فارورډ تو ریسیوینګ ا پوزیټیو فیډبیک نو دا سینی شو دی کړی وی کین نوټ سی آی لوک فارورډ تو ریسیو ا پوزیټیو فیډبیک دا به دا سینی دی کړی صحیح ده نو دا همیشه یاد ساتې دی تا چې دا موږ سره دا لوک فارورډ تو چې دا په خپل یو ورډ دی فریزل ورډ دی دا په خپل دی ګورې دا د دی هیرینګ دی نه بعد بل ډایرکټ جرنډ رایزین دات بیس فارم او ورب نشه لګولې دلته کی همیشه بدل تمون سره سره دی جرن تاسو لګ مخ کی ویل چې مونږ سره د پریزل ورب نه بعد څله گیږي جرن لګیږي نو دا ټو چې کم دی دلته کی دی سره به کنفیوز کی گئی نه دا ټو چې دی دا انفینیټیو ټو نه دی تاسو به دینه بعد ان شاء الله انفینیټیو نو نور به تاسو به دا کلیر شي ها لکه ایم یوز ټو ویټینګ ایم یوز ټو ویټ نه رایز ایم یوز ټو ویټینګ بار ایز ای ٹھیک شو شی ڈیڈنٹ ریلی ٹیک ٹو ٹیک ٹو دا ٹیک ٹو دا دا دی phrasal verb to the i she didn't really take to study english you will not say that she didn't really take uh, to study english is this clear like here uh, we will go we will get around to get around to moving the grass not to move the grass ha bia mong sara jaran chede bal last type che kamong sara ji de wala jarans are used in compound nouns da mong already for compound noun kim vere जोड़ोडी جرن نو سره په کمپاون نونز کوم استعمالیږي او دا هم مونږ ویل چې یا به جرن اول راشي بیا به دویم ناون راشي او یا به اول ناون راشي بیا به جرن راشي لایک دس وی هند سه شو اٹس ناو رایټینګ رایټینګ جرن شو نو هند ناو پلس جرن دین هم مونږ سره کمپاون نون جوړ شو دا هم مونږ ویل نو جرن کین بی یوز ان کمپاون نون لایک فور ایگزامپل آی ایم آی ایم گیوینګ ayan a driving license uh, driving lesson clear so driving lesson mung sa she shudal ta ki it's a compound noun driving lesson driving mung sara kam jaran de lesson mung sara noun de compound noun de like for example uh, they have a swimming pool swimming pool running shoes da tol mung sara kam se shi ki istemal shu compound nouns ki istemal shu no de ta ba khayal sa ate che matlab جرن کین اوسو بی یوز ان کمپاؤنڈ نونز کی ہم مون سرا دا استعمال ایگی دا اولریڈی تا سٹڈی کڑی ہم دی پ کمپاؤنڈ نان کی چانی سٹڈی کڑی یوٹیوب بانی ویڈیو گورے دا کمپاؤنڈ نون ہا نیکسٹ رازو لاسٹ والا وی اوسو یوز جرن کلیئر افٹر سم ایکسپریشنز देयर आर सम ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशंस दैट वी कैन आल्सो यूज जरन आफ्टर दैट हाउ फॉर एग्जांपल तमु सरा कम एक्सप्रेशंस दी जरन इज नेसेसरी आफ्टर एक्सप्रेशन कांट हेल्प कांट स्टैंड uh to be what and its no use the day expression na bad munga sakawle shu gerant istemal wale shu mung sara da yaad sa ta like for example she couldn't help falling she couldn't help da mung se expression de i couldn't help she couldn't help you couldn't help she couldn't help falling in love with him udal ta mung sara se share are couldn't help da mung sara expression de 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 na bad mung se se istemal ligi gerant istemal ligi like here i can't stand i can't stand expression show being gerant show being stuck in the traffic jams i can't stand clear being then the monster says it being being stuck in the traffic jams gerant use show it is no use munga da we can it's no use it is no use da monster says it's no use expression, expression show monster sure. au oh, delta say trying Jaren, it's no use escaping. It's no use trying to escape. It's no use trying to escape. It might be worth. It might be worth phoning. Phone. That one way. It's. It might be worth phone. No. It. It might be worth phoning. Phoning. Barazi. Jaren. Barazi. 
دلته کې ور به بیس پام نه راځي مونږ سره نو دې ایکسپریشن نه بعد هم مونږ جرنډز لګو ها ها بیا مونږ ځه جرنډ فریز څه ته وای دا امپورټنټ دی اوس څه کوم کوم مونږ سره جرنډم ویلو دا غي پلیسز مو ویلو چې کم کم زینو کې استعمال دی شي جرنډ د جرنډ کار ناون دی په جمله کې اوس مونږ ویو جرنډ فریز وات وی وانټ ټو سټډی جرنډ فریز فریز څه ته وای وات از فریز ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स फ्रेजिस ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स हां या इट डज नॉट हैव सब्जेक्ट एंड वर्ब द फ्रेज शी कम दे इट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड एंड डजंट गिव कंप्लीट sense or meaning or yata so che exact meaning doesn't give exact meaning phrase che kam de if you want to know about phrase che phrase ta wi phrase mung de ta wi gura phrase group of word de che mung ta exact meaning na rakhi देखे हैविंग नो सब्जेक्ट एंड नो वर्ड तैयार कर देवा तने न रिपीट को मा लग गोरे उस दिन तक गोरे बोला जता स्तोय मा एंड द क्लास एंड द क्लास इज इट अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स और नॉट इट्स अ वी कॉल इट फ्रेज सो व्हाट आर यू फ्रेज दिस इज अ फ्रेज वी because it does not give us exact meaning in the class word in the class bala khabara pade ke subject sta no pade ke verb sta no pa phrase ke subject word ni like for example if i say at home group of words kor ke kor ke sir on the road in the party at night that word phrase is the munga so the phrase is word the but dumra is the note dumra detail ke tasu zurat is the baat ke munga das sim you ha us munga dal tabe Come your phrase, gerund phrase. What phrase? Gerund phrase. Whatever modifies gerund. Have a words. Those words. It comes before or after gerund. The gerund na mahki kam words rashi or the gerund na baat kam words rashi, including gerund itself. Uzat astoye ma. Let me explain you. In the beginning, I said in the beginning, in the beginning, clear? Or if I say, for example, walking in the morning. देते हो गोरे गोरा पर देखिए जरन कम हो दे वॉकिंग वॉकिंग इन द मॉर्निंग इज गुड फॉर हेल्थ वर्ब कम हो दे पर जुमले के इज 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 कॉल्ड वर्ब द वर्ब न मख क्यों गोरा दाल फास्ट चिकम दी मुंग सारा दीस वर्ड्स दैट जरन न सरा गली दी बाद रा गली दी मुंग सारा that he said she that the jaranda walking in the morning that is she said the jarand he said the words that they combined lead the jarand pakhpala bandi jarand pakhpala bandi and plus chikam alfaz de na makh ke baat ke ragli di the tool they combined lead walking in the in the in the morning data mong sabew we call it jarand phrase tam sar jarand phrase de phrase matlab hai gura group of word the words di kana gura mata so definition kisi wala the gerund wala it's a group of word and it does not give us exact meaning i atas to walking in the morning exact meaning dar kai it does not give us exact meaning meaning exact na ra kai kana ha it does not give us exact meaning no de tamanga sabew we call it gerund phrase de tamanga gerund phrase we chik show like here removing the dress saying quickly is the best way removing removing gerund what is removing is gerund the dressing quickly 
دا دی زی پور ما سر مکمل سشے شو دا ٹول مکمل دا جرن فریز شو ور پا کمیو دے ایز دے دا جرن نا بعد الفاظ را غنی دی چک دا فر ایزمپل دا دا گورے ای لائک I like singing song in the shower. Singing song in the shower. Singing pa khpala bandi aw da dena ba chikam alfaz ra shi. Da ma sara gerund phrase shu. Da tool gerund phrase. We call it what? Gerund phrase. Like here are more examples. Try to serve the soup without dropping the tray this time. Dropping gerund de. The tray this time. Gerund phrase shu mong sara. Moving quickly, moving quickly, moving, Jaran, quickly. That's what I said, Shishu. Jaran, phrase, Shumang Sara. Buying those magic beans, Jaran, phrase. Is this clear? All of you? Ha. Then we have some of the words there followed by Jaran. You people can have watched the video on YouTube, clear? You can note down all these words like they are followed by the Jaran Khal words. There are words, specific words that they are followed by Jaran. But that's the word that you have to say infinitive. So, when you say that the Jaran word is not infinitive, you can use the word. The words that are very common words I am showing on the YouTube video, clear? They are used to the thousand answer and not call it. She told you some of the words. can stop the video and you can like write it down with yourselves. Any questions? Is this clear? Uh, inshallah tomorrow we will study about infinitives. Infinitive is a very interesting topic and inshallah we will study in more detail by tomorrow. Inshallah, tomorrow. Uh, so, till tomorrow. Thank you so much.